Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mob Impressions, and today I want to talk about Fishing Paradiso. This game came out June 1st, 2022. I want to thank the devs and publishers Owen and Cat for the review copy, however all thoughts will be my own. I want to answer a couple of questions. What is this game? Uh, show off a little bit of the gameplay, what it's about, and overall is the game going to be worth your time and money. So this game launched uh, for $15 US, not in early access, so this is the finished game. You can go from beginning to end, single player, Steam Achievement full control supports and steam cloud i played with the xbox one controller it worked out pretty well so to give you an idea an overall summary of the story embark on a relaxing tropical adventure in this cozy fishing rpg explore wondrous locations and befriend a charming cast of characters on your quest to become master angler and discover the true meaning of paradise now this is the first couple of minutes of the game so i'm gonna go ahead and spoil a little bit like i said the first couple of minutes you wake up on a deserted island you don't get to choose your avatar you are this little young girl and you wake you get woken up by this this bird who can talk this little blue bird that can talk and he basically says hey welcome to heaven or basically this is the in-between kind of like heaven so you died your character has died and you don't remember what happened your previous life you don't remember what's going on however you do have the ability to be a really good fisher so you pick up a fishing rod and you start going in the tutorial right away the gameplay here is all fishing 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 you throw your line, you wait for it to bite, and you reel it in. It's that simple. However, there's a lot of small intricacies here. The game is not, um, you know, advertised as a really heavy sim game. It's a casual fishing game. Very casual, but really interesting story. And I think Faring, uh, Fishing Paradiso has that really going for it. So I would definitely categorize this as casual with really good interesting dialogue basically you're going to be uh slowly learning how to fish you're going to be upgrading your fishing skills every single time you get a fish whether it be a small one or a large one etc you get a certain amount of money you can open up your smartphone they call this a sky phone here you can use the sky phone to teleport to different areas but there's a tab in there for upgrading your abilities so you can increase the tension your stamina how far you can throw it how easy um how you know how charming your lure is to the other fish and big game hunter which makes it so you can catch bigger and bigger fish so you learn how to fish you talk to the residents of this area and you also kind of figure out later that every single one of these people has somewhat died as well and this is where it gets really interesting i was not expecting this but the story is really what's going to be keeping you play the game it's a little bit more like deeper than i thought it's casual it's definitely marketed towards like you know young kids because the game the dialogue is like chill but it has some sort of like really sentimental moments where it's like how did this character die what were they like in their previous life who did they forget what did they leave behind and stuff like that it's, it's not like a gigantic visual novel but it's a nice little tiny nods into everyone's little personal life and there's different types of them there's like humans from you know basic humans from earth you got angels you got demons you got animals like cats and, and kappas and, and like bears and stuff there's a lot here so for 15 dollars i would have to say if you can you know if you want just a really 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 chill experience where the gameplay is pretty much nothing but catching fish and bringing it back and leveling up because that that's pretty much it you're catching fish you're leveling up you're doing quests you're getting money and you're also decorating your home every time you do a quest from your like friends or something or a main quest they give you like you know windows to put down they give you pots and plants they give you like really cool picture frames and things to decorate your wall so you basically have that as well so the biggest question in the game that you want is how did you die why did you go to heaven and just helping everyone else around you so that's 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 the game in a nutshell it's nothing crazy it's nothing that's going to blow your mind but it is a nice quick fun little experience and i have to say 15 dollars might be a little too much asking price for people who are just looking for this experience maybe 10 to 12 dollars i think would have been a very very perfectly fair price for the game but i had really good i had a good time with it so if you, you know if what you're seeing interests you and what i said also interests you you know you're in for the uh, a little bit of fun game like it's not like slow right it's not slow um I was going to say combat. It's not slow fishing. You throw it out. You quickly reel it in. You throw it out. You reel it in. And sometimes you get bonuses for like time and getting double money, etc. And upgrading it, upgrading the stuff really keeps you engaged. If you want that, sure, $15 is completely fine. But I have to say I had no problems. Uh, the dialogue is like quick. It doesn't hold your hand 
too much but there is some there because it is marketed towards kids like every time you fail i mean like once or twice you you fail a fish you're like hey maybe you should try upgrading this particular skill or that particular skill it gets a little old fast but you know it really is interesting seeing all the different characters and basically their backgrounds without spoiling much stuff so uh, there's also a nice nine dollar if you want to download the soundtrack i have to say i did like the music a lot there, there's a good amount of uh, areas and they all have a different track it reminds me of like the really golden age of super nintendo music you know chrono trigger a uh, secret of mana that type of like really awesome mystical music i really liked it a lot so if you guys enjoy leave a like it helps a lot if you haven't already subscribed for daily videos if you're interested all the footage is going to be on the let's play channel link down below come by twitch where i'm going to be streaming all of it and more if you guys have any questions about fishing parody so i did not answer put it down below and i'll see if i can get back to you but thanks for watching let me know what you guys think and i'll see you guys next time bye